BC, how's it going? It's Aaron, long time no see. Uh, can't explain how busy I've been. Um, in school, the semester's really kicking my ass. Um, I have no time to think, let alone make a YouTube video. Uh, and many of you know I have a baby on the way, so a lot of my energy has been going towards that. Uh, my wife and I are, uh, you know, we painted the bedroom. She wore a respirator, you know, so she didn't have to worry about any fumes, which it's, I guess apparently it's okay to paint when you're using uh, like a latex based paint or something. I don't know, but she wore a respirator anyway. Uh, put the crib together, you know, just getting the room all tidied up and getting the house ready to have a baby. I'm really, really excited about that. So some of you have already congratulated, and so I, I thank you for that. Um, so this is what I've amassed over the past few months or however, however long it's been since I made my last vinyl video. I got a stack of CDs here, and I got a stack of vinyl I'm going to show you. And I bought some used CDs here. I'm just, just going to get started. Um, many of you know that I, a while back, this is probably before the VC, um, I sold a lot of CDs. I ripped them all on my computer and I sold a whole bunch of them off, probably like 100 CDs. And I'm um, kind of kicking myself now because I see a lot of albums like in used bins and stuff like that that I just have to pick up, you know, I'm rebuying a lot of them. Uh, probably for, probably more, you know, paying more for them than I actually sold them for. So, so here's just a few of these and I got some new ones here I'm going to show you. This is Soul Coughing, Irresistible Bliss. Really, really awesome slack jazz album uh, fronted by Mike Doty. Mike Doty, uh, he's solo right now, but uh, apparently he's going on tour. Um, I think maybe this is the album he's there, he's playing from front to back. Um, Irresistible Bless by Soul Coughing. I could be wrong, but definitely check these guys out if you haven't heard of them. There's kind of a pop, popier rock album from the late 90s. Uh, probably their best album. This is Better Than Ezra. How Does Your Garden Grow? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, there was a radio hit off this album called At The Stars. It's a really, really good album. Check it out. And this one is a no-brainer. I wish I had it on vinyl, um, but the vinyl is really hard to find. And Well, probably not so hard to find, but it's, it gets pretty spendy, and I don't want to pay that much for it when I can spend five bucks on a UCD and just have it. Tom, Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. What can I say about this album that hasn't already been said? It's excellent. Reminds me of my childhood back in the 80s. When was it released? 89, yeah, I was 11 years old when it came out. This is from a local hero and a former replacements frontman, or hey, they're got, they got back together, so uh, Paul Westerberg eventually. Great album, has the song Love Untold on here, if you guys recognize that song. Um, highly recommend checking that, this album out, it's really, really good, really, really, I'm talking, I'm talking so fast because I'm nervous because I haven't made a VC video in a long time. Anyway, it's from front to back, or start to finish, it's really, really good, check it out. This one here is probably one of my favorite albums that come out of the 90s. This is Oasis, definitely maybe. This is a dual disc. This has a DVD on one side and a CD on the other side. I want this on vinyl so bad, but the prices are astronomical, and I just wish they'd hurry up and reissue it. You know what I mean? Okay, here's a new CD. I can't remember. I've actually had this for a while, so I can't remember if I showed this to you before or not, but I'm just going to do it again just in case. This is Band of Horses, Infinite Arms. It's a good album. Nothing to write home about, but it's a pretty good album. Mumford and Sons, I Know More. Um, this one, I really debated whether or not to buy on vinyl. Um, it was a hell of a lot cheaper just getting it on CD, so that's what I decided to do. This is Bob Dylan, the Whitmark Demos. And if you want to know anything more about this, I suggest checking out uh, Mr. Dylan Records, his page. He, I think he does a pretty uh, comprehensive discussion on this set. Anyway, just a bunch of demos he recorded for publishing purposes. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, and these next two CDs are the last, and I'll show you the vinyl. This is Frank Turner, Tape Deck Heart. Now, this guy is relatively new to me. I've never really heard of him before. Um, I heard one of his songs on The Current up in Minneapolis, and oh, just awesome. This album is so good. Frank Turner, uh, Tape Deck Heart. I think it's one of the best of 2013. I highly recommend checking it out. If I would have made a video with the best of 2013, definitely would have been on my list. Uh, maybe this one, too. This is uh, The Head and the Heart, Let's Be Still. Again, I debated whether or not to get it on vinyl, so I just pulled the trigger on the CD. It was, you know, 10 bucks cheaper, so I got it on CD. All right, those are the CDs. Okay, first off, for vinyl, this is a band that I've never heard of. The record was only 4 bucks. And I discovered they're like Irish folk punk or something like that. This is Bedlam Rovers, and the album is called Frothing Green. I don't know anything about these guys. 
I just picked it up. I listened to some of it, and it was, you know, it was pretty good. It was all right. Now, this one here is an album that I've loved forever. I had it as an MP3 download back when it, in the day when it came out, but I never purchased a physical copy until now. Well, this is actually a while ago that I actually got this by now, but this is Ray Lamonte in Trouble. Fucking awesome album. Just blew my head off the first time I heard it. You've got to check this out if you don't have it. So good. He is such a, an amazing vocalist. He has a lot of soul, blue-eyed soul happening there. Okay. And these next few albums are ones that I've been wanting to get for a while and that I just never never made it to my collection. I saw somebody show this on the uh, Facebook VC page. I was like, holy shit, why don't I have this one on vinyl? And uh, finally got it. This was a huge, huge record for me when it came out. Um, when did it come out? 2002-ish? 2001? 2000, 2002. This is Coldplay, A Rush of Blood to the Head. Instant modern classic, this album. So good. I love Coldplay. I do. I love Coldplay. And another couple more by the Coldplay. This is Viva La Vida, or Death and All His Friends. Um, not my favorite Coldplay album, but uh, it's really, really good. Uh, I would have to say A Rush of Blood to the Head and uh, X and Y are my favorite Coldplay albums. But I'm just kind of rounding off my collection with these guys. And this is the EP that came out shortly afterwards. This is Prospect, Mar Prospect March Coldplay. As you can see, there's a theme by the same artist who did uh, both of the album covers. So, yeah, just kind of rounding off my collection. I have uh, X and Y and Milo Zyloto, Milo Zyloto, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I still need parachutes. I'm going to get that eventually. Okay. Now, these... Let's see where the other one go. I've been uh, just was so happy, and I did not even know this was happening. Th these were being reissued. But I'd like to thank Ryan Dye and uh, Dan Vinyl Fury for um, making me aware of these. Um, I bought them as soon as I heard about it, and I'm so glad I did. Cause, and, oh, and they sound awesome, too. Check this out. Third Eye Blind, self-titled debut album, Third Eye Blind. Oh, came out, I think, in 1998. 97, sorry. You know, the first song I heard by these guys was obviously a semi-charmed life, but, you know, I didn't really think much of it until I actually heard the rest of the album. And, man, I just connected instantly with most of these tracks on here. Um, let me give you a, an example. Uh, How's It Gonna Be? Um, London was another really great one. And the side four of this one, these last three songs, uh, The Background, Motorcycle Drive-By, and God of Wine. Holy shit. I really just connected to this band after hearing this album for the first time. Unbelievable. I saw them on tour for this album at the Minnesota State Fair. Um, it was really, really cool. And they did like a, a cover of uh, uh, who's, Who Did That Song Today is Going to Be a Good Day, a hip hop song. Ice Cube? Or Ice Tea? I don't know. One of those ices. Not vanilla ice, but uh, anyway, awesome album. So I bought all three of the reissues. This is blue. This one here, by the way, is just on standard black vinyl. This is blue, uh, and it, it comes... I put them in Mofi sleeves already, and I'm just going to pull it out partially here on blue vinyl. So cool. Um, yeah, this is their second album, and I also saw them on tour for this album. Uh, I don't think it's as good as their first, but remember um, what they say. Like, the a band has their entire life to write their first album and six months to write, you know, write their second album. But anyway, this is a really good, it's got some good tunes on here. Um, anything, um, this, the opening track is really, really good. Ten Days Late, uh, Deep Inside of You, uh, Slow Motion, man. This is like the full, like, uncensored uh, version of that song, Slow Motion. And if you want to know more about this album, uh, I recommend checking out Dan Vinyl Fury's video. He did a more of a comprehensive discussion on this album, so check that out. And then, uh, this is, uh, I can't remember what number album this was released in 2003 i believe uh what the hell is it even called sorry i blind out of the vein sorry i haven't even opened this one yet but it's on uh, like a green vinyl um i haven't had a chance to even open it yet but uh, i'm kind of holding on to it i'm going to savor that when i have more free time so yeah this is a really good uh, album too I've, I've downloaded it a long time ago but yeah um definitely check these out they're right blind man really underrated uh, band from the 90s and uh, they've kind of, you know, when, when this band came out, they were kind of dubbed um, Alterna Light. 
you know, towards the late 90s, a lot of different, you know, alternative music was more like the mainstream now, and they kind of uh, just kind of watered down compared to, like, you know, stuff like Nirvana or Alice in Chains or Soundgarden, you know what I mean? Speaking of which, let's talk a little bit about that, um, Seattle. This just came in the mail today, and I'm really, really happy about it. Um, Mad Season above Presser RTI. I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, super, super awesome. Um, so glad I have this finally. I remember, it was released for Record Store Day, and then I knew they were going to just eventually repress the whole thing. So here it is. Uh, we got members of Alice in Chains, members of Pearl Jam, and uh, Screaming Trees. Um, kind of interesting how this band uh, got together. Um, who was it? Uh, Mike McGrady and uh, Lane Staley? Or somebody else in the band, I think a bass player, just a guy from Minnesota. They were in rehab at Hazelden up in Hazelden here in Minnesota, world renowned like treatment facility. And, you know, they started making music together while they were in treatment. And they, Mike McCready invited that bass player back to Seattle and they uh, hooked up with Lane Staley to kind of keep him sober and they made this album. Well, it didn't really pan out for Lane Staley or the bass player. I think they both, well, I know Lane Staley's passed away, but I think the bass player did too. Hey, if I'm wrong on that, you know, this is what these videos are for. Please correct me. Here's another kick-ass one that I pff, couldn't believe that I got on vinyl. It's a reissue. I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to surprise you with the color of this vinyl here. It's really, really cool. Uh, it's from Music on Vinyl. And this was a huge album for me back in the day. Holy man. This is uh, Temple of the Dog. Look at that. Music on Vinyl reissue. This is number... Uh, it's numbered. It's a uh, purple vinyl. Number 309 I got. Not bad, huh? I'm going to show you one of the LPs here real fast. Look at this bad boy. See, if you can maybe kind of see, it's kind of marbly, kind of vinyl. And this side is the one that's etched. You can see Temple of the Dog here. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I just, list, I just had this blasting earlier today. Sounds freaking amazing. The, so the sonic quality is just unbelievable on this album. If you have a chance to get either the purple one or just the standard black reissue, definitely, definitely pick it up. It's, it sounds so good. And it's a great, great album. Anyway, um, I got this through an elusive disc. And they did me a favor. I asked them to take the records out of the sleeve before they shipped. So they wouldn't... Because I got a my copy of Lives Throwing Copper um, that got a seam split in it from shipping. So they did that for me, which is really, really cool. And here is another one from Music on Vinyl. This is Stone Temple Pilots, Tiny Music. So good. And this one is also on a really, really kick-ass colored vinyl. I'm going to show you that really quick here. Another Music on Vinyl pressing. This is actually number two. This is number uh, 14, 17. So not as cool as having number 309, but here it is. Look at that. Wow. Some cool Atlantic label there. Look at that vinyl. So, so sweet. Um, at this point, when I was listening to Stone Temple Pilots, you know, way back in the day, um, I kind of lost a little bit of touch with them. When this album came out, when did this one come out originally? 1996. Around 1996, I was really either listening to Bob Dylan or I was just totally immersed in punk rock at that time, too. I remember that 90s wave of punk rock. Um, so I kind of lost touch with a lot of these bands that I um, fell in love with in, in the early 90s and stuff. But, yeah, really great album. Otherwise, and some people think it's one of their best, but you, know, you can really tell Scott Lyons on heroin at this point here. So, All right, then my last vinyl record to show you. This one just came in the mail today, too. Um, came with a free download and it's just such a good record and it's been a while since I've heard a record that I've really connected with um, this not in the way I used to say with Ryan Adams or something like that but this is Jason Isbell uh, Southeastern such a good album Gatefold um, God, he used to be a member of the Drive-By Truckers kind of went in separate ways and oh, you gotta hear this album check it out so anyway that's all I got. That's my uh, update. And it's been a while. Glad to see you all again. Drop me some comments. Uh, send me some messages uh, of encouragement, too. I got a lot of homework I got to go start doing again, like right now. So I'm going to end this video. Good to see you guys again. Hope everyone's doing well.